Hey there, welcome to this tutorial on how to solve the no signal issue on your monitor and the BGL light on your motherboard when boot up your computer. If you are facing this problem, don't worry, you are not alone. In this video, I'll guide through some simple steps that you can fix this issue in no time. First thing first, if you are experiencing this issue, the first step is to remove your RAM. If you are using a two stick of RAM, remove both of them from your motherboard and leave them out for now. Next, remove the CMOS battery from your motherboard as I am shown here in this video. The third step is to remove all the cable from the back of your computer including the headphone jack, mouse, HDMI cable, keyboard and everything else. And after you done that, remove your graphics card if you have one. And if you don't have a graphics card, that's fine, you can skip this step. Now that you have removed all the components from your motherboard and leave it for 20 minutes, this will reset your BIOS. The reason why the VGA light is on on your motherboard and you are getting no signal on your monitor is because of a motherboard issue with the BIOS. By removing all the components, especially the CMOS battery, you can factory reset your BIOS and fix the problem. After the 20 minutes are up, use a jumper cap to sort the ZBAT one for about 5 minutes to hard reset your BIOS on your motherboard. This may be different according to your motherboard, but you can easily find the name ZVAT1 on your motherboard. Use a screwdriver to touch this for about 5 minutes and it will reset the BIOS. So follow the steps on in this video exactly. If none of this step work, it's possible that your processor is not supported with your motherboard BIOS or that BIOS is too old and has been updated. Uh, in this case, you can try using a processor with your motherboard uh, which is already supported. So if you are using a Ryzen 5 for example, try using a Ryzen 3 instead. You can borrow one from your friend or family member. Once it boots up with a supported processor on your motherboard, you can try using your new Ryzen 5. But in most cases you won't need to do this, what worked for me was removing all the components from the motherboard and hard resetting the BIOS with a jumper cap to sort ZBAT1 for about 5 minutes and then I put back all the components except the CMOS battery and CPU fan and it works for me as you can see here. So that is for this tutorial on how to solve the no signal issue on your monitor and the BGA light on your motherboard. I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in my next one peace